हेलो फ्यूचर डॉक्टर्स कैसे हैं आप लोग तो बॉडी फ्लूडेड सर्कुलेशन में अब रेगुलेशन ऑफ हार्ट बीट को डिस्कस करने वाले हैं तो कहते हैं ना फर्स्ट थिंग फर्स्ट सो यू नो दैट आर हार्ट बीट इट सेल्फ बिकॉज इट इज मायोजेनिक टाइप मायोजेनिक हार्ट इज वन विच हैव नोडल टिश्यू इन द फॉर्म ऑफ एस ए नोड which generate impulse right a normal heart beat rate you know it is 70 to 75 times per minute at that normal resting stage this is the rate of heart beat but what happens during emergency if a, a condition arises like fat or fear your heart beat increases why it happens how are, how are heart come to know that there is a need to increase heartbeat brain is responsible for that brain processes that situation because it is control center of our body so it processes and send a signal to heart and this signal is sent with the help of lower part of the brain that is medulla medulla oblongata to be more precise मेडुला प्लेंगेटा और मेडुला है कार्डियोवेस्कुलर सेंटर व्हाट इज दिस कार्डियोवेस्कुलर सेंटर इट इज अ ग्रुप ऑफ न्यूरॉन्स राइट सो फ्रॉम दिस कार्डियोवेस्कुलर सेंटर ए नाउ अराइजेस विच सिक्रेट्स अ केमिकल न्यूरो ट्रांसमीटर एपीनेफ्री और यू कैन ऑल्सो कोल्ड इट एटर्नली एपीनेफ्रीन इज अ न्यूरो ट्रांसमीटर सिक्रेटेड बाय नर्व फ्रॉम द कार्डियोवेस्कुलर सेंटर विच इंक्रीजेज रेट ऑफ हार्ट बीट हार्ट बीट रेट इंक्रीजेस वट इज द नीड टू इंक्रीज दिस हार्ट बीट रेट ड्यूरिंग इमरजेंसी कंडीशन बिकॉज वेन हार्ट रेट इंक्रीजेज देन ब्लड फ्लो ऑल्सो इंक्रीजेज इन आर बॉडी and in case we need to run then body needs more oxygen so increase blood flow means more oxygen to the body so that energy that condition is fulfilled so this now which is which secretes this neurotransmitter is a part of sympathetic nervous system yaad rahega aapko sympathetic nervous system but remember it occurs only during emergency condition now the next question arises which um, what happens when uh, once emergency situation get over means we become normal what happens and our, how our heart comes back to normal condition or how our heart knows how to become normal again this is the function of brain brain again plays important role in it brain again send a signal with the help of another nerve the first one was part of sympathetic nervous system now again a now send signal sorry brain send a signal to heart with the help of a now that relax calm down no need to fear now okay and this now again releases a neurotransmitter acetylcholine so first neurotransmitter was epinephrine and second neurotransmitter is acetylcholine neurotransmitter from medulla again this ach or acetylcholine is secreted on a nodal tissue nodal tissue that is sa node which contract and relaxes relaxes our heart so this acetylcholine what what is the function of this acetylcholine 
एसिटाइल कोलिन स्टूमुलेट्स नोडल टिश्यूज एंड ड्यू टू दिस स्टूमुलेशन हर हार्ट काम्स डाउन कम्स बैक टू नॉर्मल कंडीशन सो दिस नाउ विच सिक्रीट एसिटाइल कोलिन इज ए पार्ट ऑफ पैरासिंपैथेटिक नर्वस सिस्टम so sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous system and this occurs during resting stage so now we know both the situations what happens during emergency condition what during emergency stage so this sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous system sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous systems are part of autonomic nervous system if you remember autonomic nervous system is one which regulates which controls all involuntary functions of our body right like heart beat uh, digestion process and so on but this is one part only our heart beat is also controlled by, yeah also under regulation of hormones so till now we discuss nervous regulation just to summarize i am telling you during nervous regulation two situations are there initially when there is an emergency there is a threat brain send a signal from the medulla with the help of nerve known as sympathetic nerve so which is a part of sympathetic nerve exactly <coughs> it is 10th cranial nerve known as vagus at in it increases heart beat rate during emergency when conditions become normal then again brain send a message with the help of medulla and now in this case epinephrine is secreted and in this case this now secretes acetyl acetylcholine neurotransmitter which brings back heart beat to the normal and this is a part of parasympathetic nervous system so sympathetic and parasympathetic both are part of autonomic nervous system now let's talk about hormonal regulation now medulla but not brain medulla adrenal gland medulla secretes two hormones epinephrine or adrenaline and non epinephrine or non adrenaline now you might be confused that recently we just studied epinephrine is a neurotransmitter now sir you are saying epinephrine is a hormone yes very true this epinephrine acts both as hormone as well as neurotransmitter so what is the basic difference between these two what is the basic difference when um, epinephrine acts as hormone and neurotransmitter see in case of emergency immediate action is required so this neurotransmitter directly acts on the nodal tissue it causes stimulation of nodal tissue but you know these hormones they are released in blood and then they reach to the target organ so it takes some time for their action in that case it acts as hormone this is the reason even after frightening condition becomes normal our heart beat rate remains high for some time because hormone epinephrine works clear so hormones stay for some time even after danger is gone this is the reason heart continue to beat faster for some time even after we come out of the danger zone now this epinephrine is known as fight or flight hormone either you fight or you run away you fly from the situation but it is not necessary the heart beat increases only in emergency condition 
you might have heard that adults have sorry uh, infants have high heartbeat rate as compared to adults why it is so and along with that heart rate or heartbeat rate also depends upon size of heart right and other hormones so another hormone which affect other hormone which affect our metabolism so one more hormone is there from thyroid gland thyroxine hormone is released from thyroid gland this thyroxine hormone increases bmr basal metabolic rate of our body so when bmr increases obviously heart rate will also increase it is clear now another one non epinephrine what is the function of non epinephrine <coughs> it brings down heart rate so you might think that they are antagonistic equal but opposite no they are not antagonistic remember that epinephrine and non epinephrine are not antagonistic right so this is the way how hormonal regulation occurs in human beings earlier we discussed neural regulation now we discussed hormonal so in hormonal regulation epinephrine and non epinephrine increases heart rate and brings it to the normal condition but in case of neural regulation when epinephrine acts as a neurotransmitter increases rate of heartbeat as a part of sympathetic nervous system and acetylcholine from the medul medulla again acts as neurotransmitter as a part of parasympathetic nervous system brings heart rate down or to the normal hope now things are very much clear to you that how nervous and hormonal regulation occurs and how it affect, affects our heartbeat rate still if you have any issue any problem any doubt you can ask in your study destination bioniti in comment section and if things are clear to you press the like button don't forget to subscribe and share okay